Hi, my name is Adrian. Today I would like to show you two new features in the end of push applet. First, you might have already noticed the possibility to send, not only receive end of messages. On the right side I prepared some forms to compose end of messages. You can send URI, MIME type and external type messages. For example, the new Android application record down here. If you add an Android application record to the end of a end of message, you can make sure that the end of message is only sent to the application that has the given package name. Let me show you the difference. If I, uh, if I send this uh, URI, you see the browser is opened. But if I resend it again and add an Android application record of my QR timer app, my app is launched. Of course, nothing happens because my app does not uh, handle URI records. Now let's have a look at the second feature, resending the messages. If you transmit a message, um, from uh, from the cell phone, for example a URL, you can click on the blue button to resend it immediately. If you press on the green button, you can see the raw details of the message. Now one more thing. I've been working on a cool feature for the QR timer. As you might know, this is a timer app. Now combine a timer app with NFC and you are able to send an active timer via Android Beam. Let's have a look. First, I will launch a timer. Let's say 20 minutes. And now I'm going to transfer it via Android Beam. Here you can see the data. Okay, now I'm going to stop the timer because um, I have only one smartphone with NFC to demonstrate it. And then I'm going to resend it. And bang, the timer is running again. Of course, you might have noticed that some time has passed in between. This is intended, because I'm not transferring the remaining time, but the target time. So it doesn't matter how long it takes to transfer the timer. You still will be notified at the desired time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.